Okay, guys, so what I'm here to talk about today is why Andrew Luck is being set up to fail by the Indianapolis Coach Organization. Now, the main reason why I say this is because ever since Andrew Luck got drafted by the Indianapolis Coach, in 2012, the Indianapolis Coke front office has become way too dependent on Andrew Luck and his skill set as a quarterback to do everything for the Indianapolis Coke football team. So much so that the Indianapolis coach front office has surrounded Andrew Luck with weapons on the offensive end, but they have forgotten that in order to make a deep run in the playoffs and maybe even reach the Super Bowl, you need talent on both sides of the ball, and the Indianapolis coach so far this season don't have that much talent on the defensive side of the ball. As a result, I don't think the Indianapolis coach are going to reach the AFT championship game or the Super Bowl. And if this continues, the media is gonna spin it around and it's gonna act like it's Andrew Luck's fault that they're not reaching an AFC Championship game or a Super Bowl when it when it's actually the front office fault. Now, in the two and a half years that Andrew Luck has been in the NFL, the Indianapolis Colts have been ranked in the top 11 in terms of total offense. In 2012, the Indianapolis Colts were ranked 10th in total offense averaging 365.8 yards per game. Now in 2013, the Indianapolis Colts were ranked 11, averaging 355 yards per game. And so far, this season, the Indianapolis Colts are first in the league in total offense, averaging 451.2 yards per game. And during the two and a half years that Andrew Luck has been in the league, he's gone. 28 and 13, he's grown for 11,281 yards with 72 touchdowns compared to 36 interceptions while having a competing percentage of 58.6. So as you can see, Andrew Luck has put up stellar numbers. But the reason why Andrew Luck hasn't reached past the second round in his first two seasons is because the Indian Boys coach, like I said, hasn't put enough talent on the defense and the defense 
has been ranked in the bottom half of the league, especially the secondary. Now, in 2012, the Indianapolis Colts pass defense was ranked 21st in opponents' passing yards per game as they gave up 238.6 yards per game. And the Indianapolis Colts were also ranked 27th in opponent passing art per attempt as they gave up 7.3 yards per attempt. And while I know that in 2012, if I have my facts correct, they acquired Bonke Davis from the Cleveland Browns, and he was supposed to help that pass defense in the two and the one and a half years since then. He hasn't been able to help them improve their pass defense. As in, as in 2013, the Indianapolis coach were ranked 16th in opponent passing yards per game, giving up 236.6 yards per game. And they were ranked 21st in a opponent passing yards per attempt, allowing seven yards per attempt. And while that improved a bit, they were still towards the bottom half of the league. Subsequently, they were giving up so many yards and so many points that Andrew Luck felt like he had to put the team on his shoulders and make extra plays, and that's why he's making a mistake. But so far this season, the Indianapolis Colts are giving up They are giving up 263.6 yards per game, which is 27th in the, in the league. And they are giving up 7.1 yards per passing attempt, which is 21st in the league. And you may be saying to yourself, well, it may be a pass, it may be that the defensive line isn't getting any pressure, but so far the season, the Indianapolis Colts are getting two point seven shots per game, which is ranked 
I love them in the league, so as you can clearly see, it's the secondary that's putting so much pressure on Andrew Luck to outscore, and that secondary might be the downfall of the Indianapolis coach this season because let's say the coach faced the Kansas City Chiefs again this season buying injury. I don't think that Andrew Luck is going to be able to put up 40 to 45 points against the Chiefs defense in order to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. So if the Indianapolis coach want Andrew Luck to succeed and take him to the promised land, they need to put enough weapons on the defense so they can balance each other out. Well, guys, that's it for right now. Peace. Now, before I really end this video, because I ended it prematurely, because the Indianapolis coach have so much faith and Andrew Luck, they haven't put the regular pieces around him. Subsequently, in my opinion, it can be sometimes a curse for organizations to have a franchise quarterback because they get too comfortable and don't put the pieces that the team needs in order to reach the Super Bowl. Well guys, now I'm out. Peace.